It's my time to shine the word of the Lord. Here we go. I heard these powerful words a few moments ago. It's my time to shine. You notice, you notice I said mine? I'm going to explain. A lot of explaining to do. Lucy is an old comedy show. This Ricky Ricardo with his Cuban accent said, Lucy, you got a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> the way he left. But then he was, he was mad, he wasn't laughing, but he had a funny laugh. I love comedians that can do his uh, impersonation of him. Priceless. Anyway, I saw something funny that uh, Don Jr., you know, the son of the president, <laughs> posted on Instagram. If I could show it to you, oh my God, I left. I laugh so hard. Sometimes you just got to give yourself a good laugh, you know. Oh my God, it's funny. I, 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 just, I thought I saved it, you know, and then I had to go look it up again and, and uh, screenshot it. I'll show it to a few of my friends. It's pretty brutal, you know, but it's it's hysterically funny. About the resident who's, <clears throat> you know, sitting in the house now over there. You know, that buffoon. Anyway, oh, hysterical. So I said mine because I know it's mine. You know, I got to testify for myself. You know, it could be for you too. Hope so. Hope so. Hope so. Hope so. Hope so. Hope you can get blessed, you know. I mean, raised up. You know, some of us come, like myself, come, come a lo mighty long way. I saw this meme. I really liked it. I posted it on the page. And I had to finagle with it a little bit and click the link again to get the picture to open up some of these things you know you post from another thing they don't want to open it they just want to put the name of the the app you know so i had to go up and i click it till it opened i got it right and i put that one in it you can see the picture said something like it's not important like what was it's important what's coming what is about to happen is way more important than what happened well that's obvious as long as you buried everything that was before you, it is just I'm just free flowing by the Holy Ghost I want to make this announcement I don't have notes I'm not going to read nothing probably won't uh, I'll quote a lot of scriptures I'll quote a lot of things I'll quote a lot of statements you know powerful things and speak prophetically here but I'm not you know going to be reading through a lot of notes and you know like that reference points yeah, I'm just going to flow by the spirit but it's something just coming back to my mind right now that God spoke to me years ago. He said, now this is a principle for you. Let me tell you, because I've done this a thousand times. Let me do it again. I'm just keep Something you just keep doing, you know. But uh, I know it too well. But um, let, me, let me share it with you. It'll help you. If you want to move into your future in great power, you got to do three things. Maybe five things, but let me give you the first three. You have to, one, bury your past. Two, clean up your present. And three, launch into your future. And I asked the Lord when he said that to me, he says, how do I launch? He said, you know, I asked the question like, okay, launch into the future. That sounds good. You know, it sounds preachy, meme-ish, meme-worthy, meme, -ish, meme, -me -meme -worthy, you know, all that. Nice statement. Bury your past, clean up your present, launch into your future. I thought, okay, launch, launch. How do I do that? I asked the Lord. I'm, I'm very practical. And me and God have these conversations. God and I have these conversations over the years. And I'll ask him a practical question, like a how-to. I also call myself the how-to man because I like to show people how to do things. You know? And, uh, and the Lord said to me, you do that by, by, by your gifts and talents. It's like a platform, a platform of your gifts and talents. And that's how you launch. You got to dive deep. You got to go hard. hard. You got to go fast. You got to jump. You got to fly like an eagle. You got to go forward. But how do you do it? In what way? With what? With your gifts and talents and calling and mission. That's it. If you don't have God, you know, as the wind in your sails, so to speak, as the uh, captain of your ship, as it's sailing in the fierce, waters out there in the world in life in humanity societies 
nationally, internationally, locally, locally, nationally, internationally, to the uttermost parts of the earth. You have to have God with you. God with you is the key thing. I mean, that's what makes it all work. You see people that are very successful, two things. If they're in the world, they know their gift and they work hard at it and they use that, you know, the power that they have to flow in their, like, a, like you could call it a grace. You know, it's not the grace. Someone would argue, say, it's the grace of the Spirit of God upon a heathen who's a filthy sinner who doesn't even know Jesus at all. Uh, ooh, debatable. But you know what? The gift of call of God is without repentance. In other words, that's to the church. But also, I wonder, everybody had a, an innate, miraculous put together, a putting together of, their, of themselves uh, by creation, by the creation of God. And he even causes his rain to fall on the just and the unjust, which is unusual to us sometimes. Seems unusual. But like that old Tom Jones, Jones song, it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Da -da 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 -da. So some things are not unusual, which means everybody has the power to succeed, you know. Success is a choice. Destiny, you know, even destiny is not left up to chance. It's a matter of choice. You can't just leave it up to chance. You have to choose it and you, or you lose it. Snooze, you lose. Move, you win. The world knows that. I know this kid that became a billionaire. He's stupid rich, crazy rich. I mean, unbelievable. He was a clerk or something like that a few years back. He's working in a shop in his native country. Now he's gone to live in uh, another great place, beautiful place that I also have interest in, and uh, which will go nameless right now. And the Lord, a great place. I'm, I'm, already, I'm already doing things there. And it's, it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal place. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Ostentatiously opulent. Isn't that a great two words? Oh, oh. Ostentatiously opulent. That's what it is. And he's doing all this stuff. He says he built it by his belief in himself. He worked on his mind. And these people, they do this thing called the law of attraction. You know, imagine that. They call it, that's what they call it. They visualize. They do this stuff. You know, that's, that's not weird. It's a natural progression of life. Some people don't visualize anything. That's why they don't get anywhere. Imagine that. got to visualize your, your way to the top. So this kid's a great testimony. Is he serving God? No. Is, does he look like he knows Jesus? No. Does he look like he knows like his own confidence and how he could build businesses and companies and make hundreds of millions of dollars? This is a young guy, a young man making hundreds of millions of dollars. So talking about my time to shine, it is for me. I speak for myself. I don't know about you, I hope so too. But he decided, he's doing it. So sometimes I'll be watching messages or seeing things and I'm clicking through the videos, watching stuff. It's, it's called self-education, self-help. You know, it's part of your, your course in life. You may not be in an official school curriculum. You, you're past that in time. You're not like in college anymore or school anymore, but you, you you school yourself and you educate yourself every day by what you feed your, your mind and your, 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 your spirit, you know, mostly by listening to anointed people. Anointed. I have some anointed people that I listen to and I only listen to them. And all the juniors, wannabes, playing games, half-wits, dim-wits, dummies, and uh, religious people and cultural nonsense the culture clubs and the, all this nonsense. I don't listen to any of it. I switch it off. Local television in some places. I don't watch television. I haven't, I haven't watched television. I haven't even watched Christian television in years. I don't know why. It's just if it was in my spirit, I would, I would do it. Some of the live streams that come across, like uh, the one, fit, one uh, uh, network, that's a man, of, a man of faith that he puts it on and then you click on, it's okay, and then it's okay, and then it's not okay, and then it's kind of like, eh. and then you got some particular preachers that you really love that are really great, you know, I mean, I'm talking about great, I'm not talking about wasting time looking at everybody, 
Once in a while you'll stumble upon something that's good, but it's rare. But if you, you find some treasure in a really anointed vessel who's really got the flow, it's a rare thing. Let me tell you, it's very rare. Very extremely rare and precious. That's something that I listen to. But this, this kid's doing a video showing all this. Uh, and there's a few others doing it too, you know, showing just great things. Great possessions, great, like, build, they're building empires. These people, they're building empires. I mean, it's just amazing. And the things that they do and use, you like, and you look at it and you go, ah, I want to experience that. Another guy did something, a trip that he did in, uh, in this particular place that I just love. And he, and he showed the whole thing there. And you look at it and you're like, it's like a dream. It's like, could I, could I do that today? Could I be there today? And, you know, the day will come when today is the day and we'll be, we'll be there. I've been there before, going back again soon. But you got to be in the realm of, of blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm speaking here about it's, it's my time to shine. This is the title of the message. This is a prophetic word. God spoke to me. I heard this so clear a few moments ago before I turned this thing on. It's my time to shine. I, I'm not saying it's your time because I don't know you. I, I know some people, but take it by faith. Take it if it's for you. As I'm speaking this year, I believe it is for some people. Not everybody. And it's okay if it's you. I, I'm happy for that. That's, you know, I'm, I'm testifying. I'm speaking this into the atmosphere. Let the blessing hit everybody good. And let the correction and the whatever hit everybody that's evil. Mm -hmm. There's no blessing for the rebels. No blessing for the unrighteous. There's no, there's no blessing. Even these people that do good for themselves, they're doing their thing. They're doing their thing. And you know what I like about them? They're not harming anybody. Do you see them committing crimes and disrespecting other people? And, you know, like going through life as thugs and punks and criminals. No, they're not like that. They're living their life straight, real, doing business, getting ahead, showing the things they're doing. It's very exciting and it's clean, you know, in that way it's clean. You see this guy, he goes through, he never says anything untoward, he never... Everything's happy. He's with the people he wants, the things he wants. Man, I'm just seeing flashes of light here. There's angels here. Right here, right here, right here. Right next to me, right here. Wow. Just right there. Hello, my friends. Angelic hosts are here with me. And God's making all these things to happen. Today's the great day. We're already into Sunday. The Lord is going to do great things all day today. I have so much on the, on the, on the thing, uh, on the agenda, several meetings, several events.